Welcome to the third part of the electrochemistry series. In this video, I shall be dealing with the thermodynamics of the cell, which is a bit hard topic. So let's begin with it. We all know that G is equal to H minus T into delta S. This is one of the basic equation in thermodynamics. So let me take it to be the equation one. Now for the second equation, we know that H is equal to U plus PV. Okay. Now let's go further. We also know that dQ is equal to dU plus pdV. Let me take it to be the equation number third. Now dS that is entropy is equal to dQ by T. Let me take it to be the equation number fourth. Now let's differentiate partially differentiate equation number. Two, that is this one. So I will get d h to be d u plus p into d v when volume is variable plus d p into v. Okay, this is a very easy question. Now, what we can do further is to replace the things. So what I can write d u plus p d v from equation number three. We know that d u plus p d v is d q. So d h will be dq plus v into dp now let's differentiate the equation number 1 in the similar way we can differentiate the equation number 1 and we can get dg to be dh minus t into delta s and further now let's differentiate it further so you can also find that it will be s into delta t also okay we only differentiate s here but the temperature can also be differentiated if it is not a constant so now let us put dh to be this so dg will be dq plus v into dp minus t into del s minus s into del t now what is dq we know from the entropy equation that dq is equal to t into delta s so it will be T into d s plus v into d p minus t into d s minus s into d t. So t into d s, t into d s gets cancelled. We get d g to be v into d p minus s into d t. Now here comes the important point. For getting the desired equation, we take the pressure to be Constant. So a question can be asked that what thing is maintained constant? So the pressure has to be maintained constant so that the dP terms go to, goes towards zero. So what is the final equation that we get is delta S to be minus of d of delta G upon dT. So this is the equation that we get. We also know from the electrochemistry part that delta G. Is equal to minus n f e. Putting this here, so I get delta S to be minus n f d e by d t. D e means d e of the cell basically. So this is the way we can write entropy in this form. Now we also know that delta H is equal to delta G minus t into delta S. We can replace delta S to be minus n f e of cell, and minus t into delta S can be written to be plus. N F T into D E of cell by D T, just replacing the S value here. So this is the basics of the thermodynamics of a cell, which is very important for various examinations. So th the major condition is to be learned here is that the pressure has to be maintained constant. Practice it once more in your notebook because I know it's a typical topic. So now let's move on further. The D E cell, D E cell by D T. that is this thing here is known as the temperature coefficient temperature coefficient sometimes it can directly be asked now get now let's move further to the faraday's law of electrolysis and i shall be discussing some important questions on it so what is the faraday's law of electrolysis it says that the amount or weight deposited of any substance during the electrolysis will be directly proportional to the amount of charge passed so we can say weight or we can say w is directly proportional to q okay 
Now replacing this Q, now we want to get a proportionality constant. So that is W is equal to Z into Q. Now Q we know from uh, basics of electrodynamics that Q is equal to IT. Okay. So I can put here. So W is equal to Z into I into T. Or in the particular differential form we can write DQ is equal to I into DT integrating both sides. So this part will be critical for getting into chemistry because a major question can always be ma made on this part. Now let us do a simple question that how to apply it. Now first of all let's get thorough with what is Z. Z is equal to equivalent mass upon 96500 okay where 96500 is 1 Faraday. So we can just put directly in the formula so I get W is equal to E by 96500 into I into T. So this is how we have to solve this type of questions. Now let me take a simple example to prove it that how to do it. For example I say that Mn plus 7 goes into Mn plus 2. I ask a question that what is amount of charge that is passed. Amount of charge is equal to question mark. Now how to solve this type of question? See how many electrons will be used for getting this equation? 5 electrons will be used. Okay. Now how much amount of charge is passed? See for one electron I get 96500 coulomb of charge. Now for 5 electrons I will be getting 96500 into 5 coulomb amount of charge. So this is one of the basic questions. Now let us go towards the question which is properly based on mathematics. So if a question is there, we have aqueous solution of AgNO3 and we have a variable current, variable current for 4 seconds. I have to calculate the amount of silver deposited. Given that I is equal to 2T from T 0 to 2 seconds 0 to 2 seconds and I is equal to 8.2T T belongs to 0 to 4 seconds. Now what we have to find the amount of Ag deposited. So first of all let's write the equation for it. We know that Ag plus plus electron will give me Ag. So basically I will be having n factor 2E1 and the mass of silver is mass molar mass of silver is equal to 108 so what I get from it is that the equivalent weight be 108 upon 1 by n factor is 1 because only one electron is transferred so now let's get along with what to do with the current that is given we know that W is equal to Z I T or basically I can write D W to be Z into I D T Okay, this thing can also be written. I am calculating dW for a smaller part. Now how to do it? So dW will be, let me go from, let me calculate the value from Z is equal, Z will be 108 by 96500 into integration dt that is I dt that is 2, d, 2t dt. Now the current here is from 0 to 2 seconds. So I get equation 1 from here. Now what can be equation 2? Equation 2 will be from 0 to W2 dW is equal to 108 by 96500 integration 8.2 T dt. Now what is the net amount that has been transferred here is from T is equal to 2 to T is equal to 4 seconds. Now be careful in this part we have to replace the limits to be T is equal to 2 from T is equal to 4 seconds not from 0 to 4. Okay, so this is a basic integration that you all can do and what will be the net amount that we will be getting is W1 plus W2. So this is the way that we have to solve such type of questions. Let me discuss one more question about Faraday's law of electrolysis here. The question is, silver is deposited on a vessel, on a container or on a vessel of surface area the surface area is given to be 800 centimeter square by passing a current of now current is passed of 0.2 amperes 
for three hours okay now you can see that we are not getting any integrating value here so this question can be directly solved so the question that is asked is to calculate the thickness of the silver deposited silver deposited given that the row or the density of silver is 4.67 or uh, 9.67 i'm sorry so how to go along with it so we all know that first we have to calculate the amount of silver deposited so we know that w is equal to z i t we also know that d w is equal to z integration i d t but here it is a constant so we can directly replace so w will be z now what will be z 108 by 1 n factor for silver is 1 upon 96500 this is the z value now what is i i is given to be 0 0.2 now we have to convert the hours into seconds to get a proper value or the SI value. So 3 into 60 into 60. So this will be W. So let me take that I will be getting a constant value. Let me assume it to be as some K. So some K grams. So this is the uh, weight I will be getting. Now what is given? Rho of AG is equal to 9.647. So rho will be mass upon volume. So 9.647 is equal to mass will be known to us from this so upon, let me take it to be some constant k upon volume now volume can be written as area into length so let me take the area now what is the area given in the question 800 centimeter square so 800 into now what is the length let me take it to be l we know k 800 into 9.647 9 we all know the values of all the other things so only l is the variable so from here l is calculated which is the thickness of the silver deposited okay so i hope this video helps you in solving some of the questions of faraday's electrolysis and if it helps you then please leave a like at the end thank you and best of luck